Hello internet world, welcome, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my review of this, a little color reader. It's a uh, the Color Reader Easy from Data Color, a very useful device if you're a designer or an architect or indeed even just a homeowner that wants to uh, sort of decorate your home in a really coordinated fashion. It's got so many different uses, and in fact, I'm gonna give you a demonstration during this video. Full disclosure, Data Color sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the content, nor have they indeed uh, asked to uh, ask for me to say anything in particular, just to share my experience. And uh, I'm gonna look at this from an aspect of a homeowner, uh, rather than a graphic designer, although I will touch on that as well. So let's uh, take a closer look at this and see how it works. So what we've got here first of all is uh, the, the product packaging. Uh, this is just the, the backing card for the packaging. It just guides you through how you're going to set everything up. Um, I will just note, uh, and it isn't a deal breaker, terrible packaging. This is the packaging that's sort of really hard to get into didn't appreciate the unopening experience. Just a little box would have been absolutely fine. But anyway, let's put that just to, to one side just here. Uh, now what this is, is a color reader. Now you could use this if you're a graphic designer or an architect or you're into your crafts or you're a decorator. Uh, if you're a decorator in fact, uh, or a homeowner that likes to decorate your house and have everything coordinated, this is an absolutely superb device because it allows you to read a color. Uh, and then of course you could get paint uh, mixed to that color or indeed you can take a note of the color and sort of save it to your uh, palettes. Uh, and then when you're looking for uh, paint or home furnishings or anything like that, you can actually take this with you and see if you can get a match. If the, Like for example, if the cushions match your home decor. So many different uh, use case scenarios. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and compact. It connects via Bluetooth to the app on your iPhone or your Android phone. Um, it's got a nice little red sort of line around it. Runs from a battery. It's got a little protective color, uh, cover, sorry, a little protective cover over the sensor, which you open up like so. When you calibrate this, you have this closed and it calibrates off of the color on the back of this little flap. And then once it's calibrated, then it's good to go. So we need to connect this to the app. Now we're obviously using the, the free app that's downloaded on my iPhone here. And uh, we need to connect first of all. So we go to device, it needs to wake up the color reader. So we push this button and then we tap connect. Uh, this is a live broadcast, so hopefully it works properly and it has. Uh, in fact, um, oh no, we're still connecting. Fingers crossed it should connect very soon. Uh, but once it's connected, then you can start reading in the colors. And uh, it works brilliantly. There you go, color reader is ready. So we can actually read by tapping the icon on the app or indeed tapping the button on the device. And let's just leave it on the desk for now. So this is my bamboo desk. So we tap it and it comes up with the color. How cool is that? And it comes up with the color using different systems. You can scroll through the different systems that um, uh, have logged or registered this sort of color. And we can tap in to save the reading or for more info. So we go to info. It gives us the lab color, uh, the hex, and also the RGB values. Really very, very good indeed. Absolutely superb. I think if we tap get match, uh, it should give us more matches. There you go. So it's gone back to that initial screen where it's given us more matches in different systems. Uh, so let's read something else. Let's read this blue. Perhaps we like this blue colour on this card. So you just have to make sure the sensor's over the colour you want to read. And this time, instead of pushing the button on the actual uh, colour reader easy, we're going to tap on the app and it will read that colour. And there you go. It's read that colour and it says it's a Gulf Coast V0696 if we're using the Valspar Color Gallery. Really very, very cool indeed. Absolutely superb. Let's read some colors off some different things just for fun. I love this. I love this color here. I really do. So let's just put this over the top here and we'll just tap the button. I want my walls in this color. That is a really cool color. Perhaps not. 
perhaps not it doesn't look quite so good on the screen there but again it's given us colors using the STO color system uh, Doha and also uh, Brilux GMBH and Co so we could get this mixed this is the highest match quality and then we got slightly um, uh, different color matches but this is the nearest so the biggest square on the app is always the nearest color match that is very cool now one more reading uh, bonus points if you can name in the comments section who this little guy is yeah okay okay and we're going to try and read the color off of his shirt on the back because I really like that color and we're going to tap here And there you go, it hasn't done it quite so accurately. I think that's because there's some light creeping in. So let's just put it right up against, and we do that again. There you go, that's more light it, like it. So it's a direct green on the Sherwin-Williams color snap, or we've got always greener on Valspar, and then a, a line of numbers on the Rao uh, reading. So again, bonus points if you can name this little guy in the comment section below. I just wanted to do that for a little bit of fun. Uh, but this is just such a great little device. Uh, the fact that we can uh, go into the color match and then we can view the fan deck, coordinate colors as well. We can save the swatch, we can save it to our palettes. Let's do that now. And we will create a new palette and it's put that in there. We can give it a name as well. So perhaps this is um, uh, lounge decor so we can actually name this color palette and then we can add more things to it as we go along and then we can obviously go into here we can get the color data for the mix uh, perhaps you're a graphic designer and you want to uh, mix some uh, colors uh, on your screen and get a, a really nice sort of color palette for a client so many different use case scenarios all from this tiny little device I think it's absolutely fantastic really well designed uh, love the little flap just to protect the uh, the uh, reader or the sensor there. Really, uh, they've done a great job on this. I think it's fantastic. I think the app's really good. I think the app could do a bit more uh, work on it, but it is fully functional. There's nothing I can complain about. The one thing I was expecting, I don't know why I was expecting this, but I was expecting to see the Pantone uh, colour palettes, but I don't think that they have um, got the rights to use those in here. I might be wrong. I might be missing something. Uh, but certainly uh, I would like to have seen uh, the Pantone colour palettes purely because that's what I'm used to from a uh, graphic designer perspective. But as it stands, can I recommend this? Absolutely. Fantastic, pocketable, really portable little device. This is the Data Colour Colour Reader EZ. So well worth checking out. Uh, that is it for my review. This has been a live broadcast as well. A big hello to Nigel and Raymond. Hello to you both. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Raymond Moore saying, Hi Dave, is that an iPhone 12? No, nope, but I am expecting an iPhone uh, delivery either Friday or Saturday of this week. I will be doing a live broadcast, so please do stay tuned for that. Uh, and also Nigel saying, Hi Dave, keeping well, I hope. Stay safe. Same to you, Nigel. Do stay well and safe. Uh, if you want to pick up a colour reader easy for yourself, there are links down in the video description. Please do check out those links. And there's also a link down there to the Data Colour website. Thanks for watching, everyone. I've got another video coming up very, very soon, so please do subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. Uh, hit like on this video as well if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.